Once the city used to pulse with energy, dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize or didn't care and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. They see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Training time, Faith. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around, duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? Hello everybody and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is The Mirror's Edge. There are some aspects of this game that as I have started looking at the logistics behind reporting it as a Let's Play that have made me realize that it may not be a very good choice for one. Uh, some aspects of the gameplay and level design just don't lend themselves to a Let's Play very well. I don't know that I'm going to be able to resist though so I'm at least going to give it a try. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. Didn't think we'd be seeing you so soon. Between the unique art style and the unique gameplay and the storyline, uh, I just thought that this was a really well put together game and really want to do a let's play of it. Also, it's such a quick moving game and a fairly short game and I think that it's pretty much in that aspect a perfect choice to be a second Let's Play that I'm doing on the side of whatever is my primary Let's Play at the time. Uh, so for right now, Overlord. Uh, and then if this is still going when Overlord finishes, whatever, I'd start after Overlord. From where it moves so quickly, uh, I don't expect it to cause any kind of conflicts and I expect to be able to film it alongside those without any kind of delay to whatever is my primary. But like I said, it does have several aspects that don't lend themselves to it very well. From where it is first person, and not a first person shooter, but a platformer, this climbing over things, jumping from here to there, that is the majority of the gameplay. And because of that, it can be pretty disorienting if you're not the one that's actually in control of it. So, while I'm going to try to choose paths through each level that will lend themselves to being easy to follow as best I can, I do expect that there will be times that viewers will get disoriented and not know exactly what I just did. I'm going to minimize that as best I can by using camera angles and paths that will hopefully be as easy to follow as I can make them. I won't be able to eliminate it entirely though. Also from where it's so fast paced and, and there just really aren't good stopping points during most levels, it's going to be a little hard to cut the videos to the 12 minute time limit. Well the 11 minute time limit that is. There aren't very many levels that will finish in that amount of time, so I will have to break levels up into smaller pieces. And the gameplay really doesn't lend itself to having that happen while keeping things in the flow of the game. So instead of signing off like I do at the end of each episode in most Let's Plays, or at least in Overlord, since it's the only one I've done so far before this, I probably will have to just cut the video and then come back in the next video and 
repeat a small section. Merc wants me to run you through some So that you know you're not you missing help. anything and know exactly right. where I am. Okay. So now they're going to teach you the basics of the combat system. Uh. It's very simple. Uh. All right, Faith. Also, from where the game's so fast moving, commentary may be a little hard for me to do at times. I could lose track of what I'm talking about and either repeat things or not say something that I would have meant to. Uh, and while I said it's not a shooter, when you do get guns, you can use them if you want. I don't know that I will very often, if at all. Fighting is not a big part of it. And that may have been a little hard for you to see, but from now where they're going to have me use the slow motion reaction time, you'll get a little better view of exactly how that worked. When she reached back with the gun to swing it at me, it flashes red at one point. That's when you have to hit a button, and if you time it okay, right, you get to disarm them. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. So that's the end of the tutorial. Like I said, I don't know that this will be a great Let's Play, but from where it's it's just such a great game, I'm not going to be able to resist it, so I am going to at least play all the way through it and, and make a Let's Play out of it. If you find yourself not enjoying it, don't worry, I am still going to continue to do other games, and you can just skip this one. Uh, I hope that you all can enjoy it as much as I will enjoy playing it, though.